Do not attempt any maintenance service while the equipment is in operation. System pressure must be relieved and the product drained before attempting any service on the unit. It is the responsibility of the user to comply with all federal, state, and local regulations. Employ proper safety precautions and handling techniques. Hello, I'm Dave Morrow, Director of Product Management here at OPW. Today we're going to talk about the API 700 and how to replace the seals. First, let's look at the part numbers. The API 700 series has several different models available, the API 710 and the API 712. The 710 series is our short handle version, as you can see here. This is primarily used in Canada and Europe, where they have smaller compartments in their trailers, so it, it makes it easier to operate. In the U.S., primarily, we use the 712 series. It has our standard handle. It's a little bit longer, where you don't have the, the uh, confined space inside the trailer. The other thing you'll notice in the part number is we either have the 710 or the 710 VG, and this goes back to the seals. The 710 or the 712 is our standard Viton B coupler. If it has a VG after it, it would be our GFLT. So a seven, an API 712 VG is our standard handle coupler with Viton GFLT seals. Now let's look at how we re replace the seals. Okay, one of the great things about the API 700 series coupler is how easy it is to maintain. And to do the maintenance, there's a few tools you'll need. A pair of standard needle nose pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and a, a seal pick, your product manual which you can download from our website, and a seal kit. And the seal kit's going to include everything you need, your face seal, your inner and outer o-rings, your shaft seals, and some seal lubricant. Okay, the seal that's probably going to need to be replaced first is this face seal that you see right in the front of the coupler. This is the seal that rubs up against the adapter every time the coupler is put onto the truck. So it sees a lot of wear. This seal can easily be replaced while on the rack. You do not need to take the coupler off the rack. You do not need to drain product from the arm. You simply take a seal pick and, and it'll pull right out of a groove. And then with your new seal, you would just replace that seal. So it's, it's very simple to replace right on the rack. At some point, you're going to need to replace the internal seals. Those are also very easy to replace. To do that, you will need to take the coupler off the rack. So once you have the coupler off the rack, you can then quickly replace the, all the internal seals. To do that, the first step is we'll want to release the latches. And to do that, you'll, you'll grab the handle and, and press the four latches. And the collar will slide forward. Okay, with the collar forward, we can then open the coupler like so. So with the coupler open, we'll, we'll remove this R-clip that you see here. And this R-clip is really the key to this design and what makes this coupler so great. By removing this R-clip with your needle nose pliers, you'll be able to take the entire coupler apart. So we remove the R-clip. With that removed, you can then grab your handle shaft, and that'll slide right out. And with that removed, we then have access to all the internal seals that need to be replaced. So we have our tube spacer, our poppet, our wave spring, our poppet adapter ring that has your inner o-ring, your outer o-ring, and with our seal kit 
it'll include your outer O-ring, your inner O-ring, and th this is the same O-ring. It'll fit right into this groove, so that'll be removed with your seal pick. Your outer O-ring, you'll slide uh, around the outside. We've already, re already replaced the face seal. Your shaft seals are on the shaft. They're just a cut groove, so the, again, with your pick, you can remove those easily. Slide your new seals in. So as you can see, in just a couple of minutes, you, you have a, the coupler apart, all your seals replaced, and you're ready to put it back together. Okay, an important note here is you can see there's a small washer. When you disassemble, it may stick to the underside of, of this bush. So we want to make sure when we reassemble that that washer does go back in place. So let's go through the assembly process. So we'll start with our, our poppet and our adapter ring that goes back over the poppet. And you want to have the, the pressure links facing you, down and facing you. You'll take your, your wave spring. Okay, now we'll take the, the coupler body and put it over your poppet assembly. And now we take our handle, we'll insert it through the bush, we'll take our washer, and the shaft's going to go through the cam. And note I'm inserting the, the handle from the right side. So through the cam, our tube spacer. And we'll want to push the handle shaft all the way home until it's fully seated. And once it's fully seated, we can close the coupler. And as you do this, make sure your fingers are out of the, the face of the coupler. Okay, now that the coupler is closed, we can then install the R-clip. An important note with the R-clip is to make sure that the rounded edge is inserted facing away from the poppet leg. So it's going to go in in this orientation. So we just put it in the hole in the shaft with your needle nose pliers. Press it into place. So this coupler is now ready to go back into service. So now that we're done with maintenance, you can see how simple and easy it is to replace all the seals quickly in the API 700 series coupler. A few notes on this coupler now that we're finished. You'll notice we have an ergonomic handle for smooth operation. We have this stainless steel outer collar for long life. If you look inside the coupler, you'll see that we have these double cam plates that's for thermal expansion. That can be an issue in some installations. So we've doubled these up to, to give us more strength. You'll also notice with our handle shaft assembly that we have double pens. So we have a pen here and also in here. These pens never have to be removed, so you'll, you'll never replace a, a drive pen again. So there you have it, the API 700 series coupler from OPW Engineered Systems. For more information on any products from OPW, please visit our website at opw-es.com. And thanks for watching this short video.